So thank you so much for joining uh, K Talk today. And just inform you guys that's the the, the case nine. So we only have one case in the next two weeks. So after that we will finish our project. And that's a ten lesson. And we like uh, plan to to do it. So um, if you have any feedback. Any like comments or any uh, like idea to to tell us? Just let let me know. So we are willing to receive. Hello, hello, the new member. Yep. So let's start a case today. Uh, how 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 the last case? How was the last case? Well, uh, the last case is um, really interesting with me because um, they have many you know like um, connection between the symptom uh, mm. and I I it's my um, it's rare and um, I I never have met a person and met the case yes the case like this before uh, mm. especially I never heard with someone you know who have a, a tooth removal uh, procedure and then have uh, you know such a uh, serious infection like that yeah yeah and I, I never have a thought like that before mm. so yeah, it's okay, really like... interesting like it's yeah. novel like someone new something new sorry yes i agree so to be honest for me that's also the very interesting case and i hope that's a benefits for all of you guys here and like uh, today we also have a new case about uh, AES WL can you write more clear for everyone can understand understand what you are talking about but can you like uh, write down mm, this person uh, he has a stone uh, 7 millimeter mm. and is a uh, option uh, to the ureter ureter. and uh, yeah and uh, mm. uh, yeah, he has a uh, hydronephrosis mm. and now now we must a uh, extra corporeal subway light mm. torch see uh, it's a mother lithotripsy we have and to do lung cancer first. Mm. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you, Vic. So you want to do extra carbonyl shock, wealth, litho, litho stripsy. That's just straight for the some kind of the the kidney stone with the size less than. Uh, you think this a uh, straight for the stone less than. Uh, 10 centi 10 millimeter if this is uh, less than 10 centimeter do you want to check it again 10 millimeter sorry check it again so should we do the the shock wave uh, lithotripsy now uh, we have to do another thing uh, so how you want to treat the patient with the cancer first why that's a bit because uh, I I see the kidney function of the patient is the normal and uh, you know he do have a hydro nephro uh, nep nephrosis but uh, um, I um, I think that if you uh, if we can uh, but um, the 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 pain of the patient I think we can use you know painkiller to to um, relieve it meanwhile we treat the lung cancer so the you know the the Okay, interesting. This patient don't have like um 
uh, nephrosic no hydro uh, hyd hydro nephrosic not like a uh, 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 nephritis or nephrosis nephrosic no no nephrotic no nephrotic no just like hydro nephrosic it's mean like have the water inside the kidney it mean like this kidney become like uh, obstruction and dilated accumulate the water kind of like that so this is hydro nephrosic so uh, nghĩa là bệnh nhân không có chỗ chứng tận hư và bệnh nhân có uh, bị uh, giãn uh, gọi là thận ứ nước thôi alright nha yeah. so uh, for this case huh? uh, any idea I want to so I want to uh, li listen more one more idea about the treatment plan if you see the patient like that what you will do uh, before you want to make any treatment plan you should list about those of the symptoms of the patient and what the emergency what not emergency what you can do it now what you can do it later uh, should the cause of make the patient to the hospital a kidney stone the cause make this a hypercalcemia you mean or what the cause you mean like this is a lung cancer hydronephrosic Oh, this uh, is this, uh, not problem. The problem is because of kidney stone. So that's a kidney stone, make a hydronephrosis. It's not hydronephrosis, make a kidney stone. <laughs> okay, that's a kidney stone, make hydronephrosis. All right, but like, uh, yes, we need to treat the cause. But as I told you guys, we need to like, list about those of like, first priority, priority the next priority, and uh, the last, the, the next thing next. So we will know about the uh, step by step. So. If you want to do it like that, you need to see that what the patient uncomfortable the most now. Pain, right? He's in pain. See, he feel unwell, he feel like uncomfortable. And that's the reason why make him to come to the hospital. <laughs> so now, and uh, of course, you need to give the painkiller analgesic. And uh, according to his symptom, huh, that's A over 9, sorry, A over 10. That's very, it's very in pain. It's in, you know the pain for the kidney stone that's a very very severe sometimes the patients say like i never feel that pain in my life that's make me very uncomfortable so let's go with the anesthesia and in the re recommendation for treatment of the uncomplicated stone they can go with the hydration and anesthesia and according to the the x-ray and also about the the CT scan, you can see that the kidney, this is a size, this is only 7 millimeter. So you need to look at the like, line again for the 7 uh, millimeter, what we can do for the patient. Now we treat the kidney stone, because the kidney stone makes the patient pain. First, do the patient have the cancer? Yes, they can have the cancer, but now you can, you, you, this make the patient die or uncomfortable? Not now, not now, not now. We can do it later, don't worry. Don't worry, even like this is a cause, but we can figure out this, investigate this, and do it later. Just maybe one or two days, okay. Now, at the moment, I say at the moment. Right, so this is only like seven millimeters. According to the guideline for seven millimeter, they can spontaneously, uh, spontaneous passes in when you use medication. Like they can treat with the medication. Don't need to go with the shockwave lithotripsy. You know, more than 10 millimeter, you can go with that. But that's just seven, seven millimeter. So you can go with the medication. We can have two choices of this. This is the alpha blocker or CCB. You can get the medication for the patient and wait. But you, you are using the analgesic. You can use analgesia. Yeah. You can using hydration. You use the, the You can recommend this alpha blocker or calcium channel blocker. And just wait, this is passed through the, 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 the urine or not. And uh, you need to go more, the cost. Uh, so one kind of this uh, can have decrease of the, no, go with the cost, right? So you see the, the lesion on the, the lung. So now you just need to investigate the lesion. What is that? What the type, this is cell, histologies. Uh, this is uh, this is malignant or this is this is just benign, right? You don't have any information in your mind. How can you start with chemotherapy? I don't know. <laughs> so now, you know, you force the patient. Okay, go to the the, the table, the, the bed. I will 
if you know chemotherapy immediately. Will they know? Will they accept that? Of course, no. So you need to do investigate. Like you can do biopsy, the the the, the tumor biop, the lung biopsy. You can do the maybe it's a combined with the uh, like ultrasound or kind of like some CT guide, biopsy with CT guide. But look at the tumor like that. Yeah, you can go with the CT. Uh, like, no, um, scopy. Uh, what check your uh, trachoscopy? Yes, no. Yeah, you can go with that because that's the near the center, and then you do the biopsy. And you take it out and you say like, what type is this? What type is that? We yes, that can be swimmer cell, but maybe it did not be swimmer cell, right? So I need to do invest the uh, do histology and see what type of cell. I confirm that yes, the patient this is swimmer cell carcinoma. So what is stay? Is it have the metastatic enough? Right? This is stay or this grade, and you need to confirm the grade stage, and this is have like metastasis or does anywhere have still have and that's the, the tumor or what type of tumor you know so after that you can go with the treatment for the lung cancer and when you treat the lung cancer the hyper the glycemia will be turned back to normal and the kidney stone will go on too it's not like recurrent again not now because you also treat for kidney stone all right just that's my uh, according to my like clinical experience and i can work with a patient like that if you have any another idea and or you can share with uh, with me or uh, you want to add on more information i'm willing to listen can i ask something okay just ask i will it's okay uh i never met uh, a patient with paraneoplastic syndrome before so i'm not so sure so um hypothesis uh that this person can remove all the lung cancer by surgery um uh, so, so uh, again 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 what you the, what the surgery mm, uh, patient like get the, the lung cancer because of surgery no uh we can treat the lung cancer by surgery um if if in this patient uh he uh, he uh the cancer has not a uh, uh, method tức là ý em hỏi là ở bệnh nhân này mà giả sử là bệnh nhân có thể chữa cái lăng trên sườn này bằng bằng phẫu thuật đấy à chữa ừ. hoàn toàn bằng phẫu thuật thì uh, sau đấy cái hội chứng cận u này nó có mất không đi đi không ạ à? hay là à, à, ý là em nói là không not not for the 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 the, the chemotherapy for surgeon á surgery á ờ ờ ý em là um, cái chữa mà ví dụ như là giảm đau này rồi uh, cho bệnh nhân uh, rồi truyền uh, dịch này rồi giãn cơ cho bệnh nhân thì chỉ là chữa cái uh, cái cơn đau tạm thời cho bệnh nhân thôi đúng không ạ? Ừ. Còn để mà chữa được triệt để cái nguyên nhân thì mình phải uh, phẫu thuật à, cho bệnh nhân tức là dặn rồi phải chữa phải chữa cái lắc Sure, mình có thể select like surgery, mình có thể select like cái like chemotherapy or radiation. Uh, I I I didn't say we will not go with that, but before we need to, we will go with that. We need to like investigate what type the 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 the, the cancer in there. What what is the grade? What is the stage of the cancer? Does it have the uh, metastatic or not? Because for any treatment of cancer, you need to figure out that. And then we do like this is surgery or not surgery? Or this is a chemotherapy. Of course, uh, we don't need to go with the so long to take this. Like you can do it in the time the patient stay in the hospital, and after you stabilize the patient, maybe next day or that day too. You can like consult for the oncologist, and you take the 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 the, the, the biopsy. You know, so why are you afraid for like uh, the neoplastic um, syndrome can be gone or not? Of course, when you treat the cancer, the Neoplastic syndrome will gone. Oh, okay. I, I don't know about that part. I, I don't know if you will treat the cancer, the neoplastic syndrome been gone or not. I, I don't know. So, uh, so, yeah. so uh, the first thing we should do is uh, address the immediately concern right now is hypercalcemia. So if we don't address the hypercalcemia by lower it down, patient kidney stone will continue to be a problem so we because this kidney stone is about seven milli is that is that right 
Is that what we have? Yeah. Okay, so uh, we can wait for it to pass or we to consult urology for getting rid of this, depending on what case if you want to get rid of it fast. After we take care of the kidney stone and the patient calcium may be lower and then the confusion go away, then we can go with the next step, which is addressing the cancer. So I think that's, that's, that's what we should go with this case, in my opinions. Yep. Because patients have multiple problems and we don't know where to start. So always start with what causes confusion. Yeah. Uh, patient definitely have high calcium and has symptoms. And does mm. anybody remember the symptom of hypercalcemia? Down, bones, rounds, and psychiatric overtone. So that's a mnemonic I use. So patient have two out of four hypercalcemia symptom, which is kidney stone and confusion. So we definitely want to address the hypercalcemia. Otherwise, the hypercalcemia may get worse. Patient may have some cardiac problem and worst case, they may die. Address the hypercalcemia and then the kidney stone and then take care of the lung cancer problem. So you want, uh, you want to uh, go with the hypercalcemia first and the kidney stone then and the last You can do both like... at the same time, it doesn't matter. So, but do... we, know, we know well the cause is because of the lung cancer, so what what just uh my question is what the suggestion treatment for the hypercalcemia at the moment you can use calcitonin oh. first you need to push the patient with a lot of fluid you know you have to dilute the calcium first i don't want to stop this all right so uh why is this case have kind of some uh, men, can, many uh like um the part you you can learn so for the kidney stone need to um that's the all thing you need to know about the uh, hypercalcemia that also was the target of the lesson today and the last thing about the uh, lung cancer you can small, spend time to read more about this but it uh, depends on you so any question for me it's still hard or still a like, difficult question or like this difficult case or complicated case again hello everyone why is it pausing everyone everybody you're still alive <laughs> <laughs> just let me know Everybody stand up for 10 seconds and shake your bodies around. Move some extra muscle. Ah, all right, so... Um, <laughs> no neurology is mean easy. <laughs> <laughs> difficult case again? Not difficult, not difficult. That's just like have some part you need to figure out. Because I told you, in reality, it's not look like in the book. In the book, just one one point go oh, this is the, the the second point like just a very direct like that but in reality like patient come with the many thing happen so can be just that and i hope this uh, even this is uh, difficult it's not difficult but i hope you learn from that uh so okay you guys uh the next okay and leon do you want to say anything oh no 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 oh uh, well you want to say something see raise and Go ahead, Wei. Yeah, I'm sorry, but uh, I think um, so. My first diagnosis is uh, about something like kidney stone. Yeah, but uh, at the end of the story, we know it's not right. Uh, so my question is stone, but need yeah, 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 yeah. I know, but yeah, but the man, the how to say the the cause the main cause of, of the problem is not uh, so uh, like for me uh, something like lung cancer easy it is easy to miss it like uh, especially in the case that um, uh, CT scan or chest CT scan scan is not available in the hospital so. Uh, do you have any suggestions that uh, like uh, obviously we should have a differential uh, differential diagnosis mm -hmm. uh, but for, for me I it, it will be <laughs> the last thing I I, I I think about yeah so um, so when the patient come to the ER 
mm. and it is supposed that in the mind of the physicians and the mm. patient at the same thing at the mm. same page about the kidney stone so we just use uh, those kind of uh, ultrasound and uh, x-ray or something mm. and uh, we conduct uh some or uh, we perform some uh, <laughs> like uh relieving pa- uh, pain color those kind of things so, and yeah, manage, yeah this chart yeah yeah many symptoms yeah we did we, we ha- did yeah we did the, the, that day so how to not miss out the good very very good question uh, you raised that uh so as i you see that's the case huh when you do the lab test and you see this is not normal So for the patient like that, you think like this kidney stone, okay, the kidney stone, but now like what make that stone? So, so for some like a kind of the doctor, if they they are, have the more experience, so they see a lab test and maybe the first time you think this is that uric acid because the patient have that past medical history, one time hospitalized for the, the swelling, the toe, kind of like that. And the, the uric acid is normal. Okay, leave that. But look at the lab test, One point is the hypercalcemia, second point is the PTH level, the decrease, and one the, another point you miss, that's the, the patient have the anemia, the decrease of hemoglobin. So for the decrease of hemoglobin, it means like, oh, what makes the patient decrease the hemoglobin? Is it like this because of there are some chronic disease, or this a neoplastic uh, syndrome, or this is because of another cause? So we need to like, look at the whole picture and maybe in your mind see like that's it, the hypercalcemia that's the decrease of BTH and this anemia and the past medical history the patient had the feather had the lung cancer if you are the good doctor and you have more knowledge you need to connect the dot and then you think okay I will order the CT scan now just CT scan and then you can see that That's the flow of thinking for the doctor. You can work on that. And um, to be honest, when I work in the hospital and then I, the case not always like go what you think. And sometimes like when you treatment a couple of the days and you recognize, oh, it's not correct. Something else, we need to figure out. So you need to sit down and then you need to look at again and then you need, you will order another test. When you order another test, you see another thing. That's that's the flow of thinking. Okay, thank you for your situation. That's very your recommendation. Yeah, but uh, like, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, but I, I agree with you. Yeah, like uh, don't make any assumption about uh, the disease, right? Uh, until we got the the like the the last is uh, result or everything, or uh, we can explain all those of abnormal uh, lab tests, but it's. Difficult, but uh, there were tough case because yeah, basically the 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 patient with the kidney stone usually uh, have a, a hospital stay only one day or tw- less than 24 hours, so maybe they they just come t- uh, just visit the ER for maybe one two hours, so and and yeah, they receive the painkiller and they leave discharge, so. Mm-hmm. So we don't have enough time to take those their yeah, lab tests and yeah. Okay, I understand. I understand like uh, your concern, and uh, I understand about the situation. Sometimes like just you just see a patient like just a couple of hours, but like as I told you, you uh, for any the patient come to see us, uh, and then you uh, do the order the lab test. So why this case uh, you order the like a serum like that because like that's a kind of kind of very general. That's it about the uh, hemoglobin. That's the like a uh, uh, calcium, phosphorus. Uh, this is the potassium, uh, sodium, chloride. We call the serum level. And so you mean like the outpatient, right? The outpatient. So, okay. So will you discharge the patient when you stabilize them, or you still keep them in the OR in the couple of hours? You can have time to do the lab test. I think you can have time to do the lab test. To be honest, you cannot distract them without just get the painkiller and leave. I don't know about in another hospital what they will do, but like uh, for me, I will not do it because like I still think patient not stabilized enough. 
Yeah, for me, um, if I work in the ER that day and the patient come in with this kind of problem, first thing I would do is get all the lab that I need and then stabilize the patient and then call urology. And then once we figure out, okay, they may stay in the ER or the hospital for one or two days. <clears throat> Sorry, so we have a, a few days to figure out what's going on. And if they want to go home with their option, we will recommend them to follow up with oncology for their lung cancer problem. So in the hospital, it's not our responsible to treat their lung cancer. Right at that time, we want to stabilize them first. So always think about stabilizing the patient, keep them alive so they can go ahead and do the lung cancer treatment. Mm -hmm. So we will recommend and consult oncology if they on call or in the hospital, but it's totally the patient decided if they want to follow up with that or not. Because one we admit the patient in the hospital, we admit for kidney stone, not for lung cancer. So I get your point. I understand what you're trying to say. So in the US system, when we admit the patient, we have the clear reason why we admit the patient. So we admit for kidney stone. Okay, so we are gonna address all the kidney stone problem, investigate why the kidney stone happened, why the lab abnormal follow up. And then if we discover, hey, they got lung cancer, biopsy it, send it for results and everything. But the patient have an option to go home at that time if they want to, if they're stabilizing enough. We just recommend, hey, follow up with your oncology doctor, our patient. Don't worry about that. Don't worry. Yeah. If you yeah. said yeah. abnormal lab test, you will need to figure, investigate. You cannot let them go. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So and even uh, maybe you have to hospitalize them too. And yeah, do not let them go with high calcium. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that's a very good question, you know. So your concern, that's, a, that's also good for the patient too. All right, so you guys, we take a long time to stay here. Any question? No more? But that's, that's uh, okay. That's I feel like um, you have a lot of uh, things can, I can... Uh, we can deliver that, right? So next week, we have the case, but uh, I have the idea for you guys. Uh, like we plan, not like I will not bring the host. So if you feel like you can be the host, I feel you guys in here very like uh, good in good about the uh, English. So if just like just that's the idea. Huh? If you feel like you can be the host and you can like uh, maintain the case, I am willing to receive your uh, your like um, your your idea or your you want to do it. Just like t let me know. Your proposal. Like that. Yeah. yeah. Just give us a proposal. What you want to do? Yes. Uh, that's the last case. I want to make this special for everyone. So. Just like if you know how you want to do it, just let me know and I'm happy to receive that. Yeah, we will uh, train all the SB for you and you just be the host. Like how you become... How wonderful is that? Yeah, uh, we will take care of you really well. Don't worry. <laughs> From the head to the bottom. <laughs> yeah, that's a, just the idea. Huh? You can talk time think about this and uh, the, the deadline for that I guess like at on the Thursday or on Thursday you make the final decision like you will be the host just like about this we can uh, discuss with you guys about the case or even like support you or even like uh, make anything to make it happen like just one chance in your life all right so uh, okay thank you so much Tungan, and uh, okay have a good night all right, so that's the, the last case for our project and I hope receive any proposal for K Talk. And we will we will have to stop after the K10, huh? All right, interesting about this? Do you feel interesting about this? All right, so just think about this. Even though your case, even like the thing you want to resolve with thing you want to discuss, be the host and I will I will make this a special. Don't worry. <laughs> 